So for the first time ever, I spent my new year on a plane over the ocean on my way to Tokyo, but it's worth it because I didn't want to uh, come to Japan on January 2nd or 3rd because January 4th is a very big day. Wrestle Kingdom 12 at the Tokyo Dome. I wanted to get here as soon as I could, so it's a fresh way to start the new year here in Tokyo, here in Japan, with the mental preparation for Tokyo Dome. It's the blinders are on, all I'm thinking is Tokyo Dome. I'm not thinking about a New Year's fucking party, I'm not thinking about good times and having a drink, I'm thinking about Kenny Omega, Alpha vs Omega, Tokyo Dome, January 4th, that's all that matters to me. So it was necessary for me to forget about the New Year's celebration, everyone's wishing me Happy New Year's, I don't give a shit about Happy New Year's, I care about Alpha vs Omega, I care about January 4th at Tokyo Dome, that's my New Year's celebration. Okay, that's my New Year's Day, that's my New Year's party, that's when I'll be excited and happy and having a, a, a fireworks and having a drink after January 4th. Because to me, that's when the New Year starts. That's when 2018 starts, January 4th, the Tokyo Dome, the moment that Alpha vs Omega is finished. Um, I knew this match was going to be big just by the fact that it was announced in the first place. It's very much the uh, pro wrestling version of McGregor versus Mayweather, a match that nobody would ever think was going to happen. So as soon as it's announced, it becomes a big thing. It's become the biggest buzz of any wrestling match, not just in Japan, but in the world. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I uh, enjoyed the idea of this match. I knew that uh, Jericho versus Omega, Alpha versus Omega, would be something for wrestling fans, not just in Japan, but all over the world to be excited about. So to me, uh, that's the reason why I decided that this match had to happen. Time-wise, this match couldn't have happened last year, probably couldn't happen next year, this year was the perfect time and maybe the only time you can ever see this match. Um, and being in the wrestling business for 27 years, it's very rare to find somebody in the world with the stature and the name value of Kenny Omega that I haven't wrestled against. So it was a new challenge for me. I knew it would be a big, exciting match for the fans, not just in Japan, but worldwide. It's big for New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's big for Kenny Omega. It's the biggest match of his career. And for me, it's an exciting challenge for me, which is the only reason why I still wrestle in this day and age. I'm still better than I've ever been. I'm still the best in the world. I'm still the greatest of all time. But I pick and choose my matches now because I've done it all. So to do something new and have a match against somebody for the first time is very exciting to me. And that's what I've been thinking about since, since I got on the plane 15 hours ago in Tampa, Florida, until I landed here in Tokyo an hour ago, is how exciting this match is going to be. And how it's very symbolic that the new year is today, first day of 2018. Uh, and the new match is Alpha versus Omega. First time ever. You'll never see this match again. If you only watch one match this year in Japan or in the United States on New Japan World, this is the match to watch. You don't want to miss this because it's once in a lifetime. Well, I mean, people always want to put uh, different names on a match, give it uh, different taglines, and you could say, yes, New Japan versus WWE. You could say Alpha versus Omega. You could say Winnipeg versus Winnipeg. I mean, think about this. How, how amazing is it that the main event of the Tokyo Dome, and it is the main event, there's no doubt about it. It's not a double main event. This is the main event on a worldwide basis. It's the match that everybody is excited to see and is paying to see. It is taking place between two Winnipeggers, Kenny Omega from West St. Paul, Winnipeg. 
Chris Jericho from St. James, Winnipeg. Commentated by Don Callis from Charleswood, Winnipeg. Um, in Tokyo, fighting for the United States Championship. It's a little bit fateful to me. It's, 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 a, it's a match that was meant to happen. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I was so excited by it. Like, not only is Kenny Omega the biggest star in New Japan Pro Wrestling, but he's also from the same small Canadian prairie town as I am in Winnipeg, Manitoba. That's exciting for me. Uh, I'm proud of that. Um, do I like Kenny Omega? Absolutely not. Do I respect him? Of course I do. And do I respect the fact that he's made a huge name for himself uh, the same way that I have coming from a city that nobody would ever expect you to make a name for yourself. So, you know, WWE versus New Japan, I, I guess if you really want to say that, but to me it's Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega. I mean, I've been around the world. I worked in Japan. This is my 53rd tour of Japan. 53 times I've been here. This, my first tour was in 1991 for FMW. Uh, then I worked I don't know, 30 tours for WAR, for Tenrusan. Then I worked New Japan, 10 tours with New Japan. Then maybe a dozen tours with the WWE coming to Japan. So I understand Japanese style. I understand what the Japanese fans appreciate. So I guess you could say WWE because I'm known for the WWE for the last 17 years. But if you look at the career of Chris Jericho, it's very Japanese influence. It's very Mexico influence. It's very European influence. So um, I think the reason why people consider me to be a WWE guy is because I haven't worked in another ring anywhere for 17 years since August of 1999 when I first made my debut with WWE. And that's another reason why this match is so big. It took a lot for me to leave WWE and come to New Japan. Uh, it's something I said I would never do. I said I would work for Vince McMahon for the rest of my life. But you never say never, because when this opportunity came up, I was a free agent. I wasn't under contract to WWE. Once again, Kenny Omega being the most exciting performer in the world today. Uh, Chris Jericho being one of the most legendary performers in the world today. Just came off the biggest year of my career. Uh, it's a perfect match, and it's a big match, and it's a match to me. I felt it was a responsibility to all the people that follow me, all the friends of Jericho, all the Jericho-holics that live vicariously through me uh, to wake up in the morning on October 6th, 2016 and find out that Chris Jericho had challenged Kenny Omega in a New Japan ring. It, it could, nobody could believe it. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to do it and one of the reasons why I thought it was so important to do. So yes, I guess you could say it's WWE versus New Japan. Uh, to me, it's Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho. It's Alpha versus Omega. Uh, it's two guys who are both uh, the best in the world. And now we're going to find out who the real best in the world is. He thinks he is. I know I am. And we'll find out January 4th at the Tokyo Dome who's right. And that to me was enough for me to come to Japan twice in the last two weeks. That was worth it for me. I mean, it was a smart idea for New Japan to make this match happen. I mean, they're making a big uh, mark in the United States. They're making a big mark worldwide. Uh, they have a great product. It's the best company in the world that's not WWE, let's be honest. <clears throat> but for them to raise their profile in the United States, they did the smartest thing. They picked one of the biggest stars in wrestling history and brought Chris Jericho to New Japan and that's why on a worldwide basis, Jericho versus Omega is by far the main event uh, at the Tokyo Dome. Uh, you go to Los Angeles and at the Staples Center, the biggest arena in the, in, in, in the country, on the marquee, it says Alpha versus Omega, Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega, January 4th at the Tokyo Dome. How does this happen? How does a match from the Tokyo Dome uh, get advertised on the on the digital video marquee at the Staples Center is because Chris Jericho is involved. So it's a big deal. That's why, they're, yeah, there's a lot of foreigners coming. I know a lot of people that are coming to Japan for the first time to see Alpha versus Omega. 
So not only is Chris Jericho good for New Japan, Chris Jericho is good for the tourism uh, in Tokyo. People are coming to Tokyo. They have to buy hotel rooms. They have to buy food. They're going shopping. They're taking taxis. All the revenue is coming in from around the world, from America and Canada and England and Germany, uh, Ireland, Scotland, all these different pe places where people are coming to watch this match. So Chris Jericho draws money. Chris Jericho sells tickets, and we've seen that. The tickets for this year's Dome show far outshadows last year's Dome show, and it's still four days before. We could have 40,000 people in that venue. Last year they had 25, 26,000. What's the difference? The difference is Chris Jericho's on the show. And like I said, this is the main event. I am the alpha, but I'm also Mr. Main Event. That's what I want to be referred to. Mr. Main Event, Chris Jericho. Nobody else on this show is the main event other than Jericho versus Omega, no matter what they say, no matter what kind of type of bullshit they're talking. Uh, so it's very exciting for me to be here knowing that this match made a difference knowing that I made a difference, and knowing that the main event box office appeal of Chris Jericho translate all the way over to Tokyo, Japan. So um, it's exciting for me because if there's a thousand foreigners coming from all around the world to attend the Tokyo Dome, a thousand people is a lot of people. And if they're all chanting for Chris Jericho, that could be more than, than if there's 40,000 people and 1,000 people are chanting my name, that's going to make a difference. It's going to be loud and it's going to be infectious. So who knows what's going to happen? I mean, Kenny Omega is a New Japan superstar. Me, I'm almost uh, an invader. You know, I'm almost an outsider coming into New Japan for the first time since 1998. There's a lot of the fan base that's never seen Chris Jericho in Japan. has no idea what my history is. They just know I'm one of the biggest names in WWE history. They don't know my history in Japan. So you have a thousand people coming from the United States, from North America, from wherever, chanting my name. I mean, that's gonna make a big difference. So we don't know what's gonna happen. This is gonna be a match unlike any other at the Tokyo Dome on January 4th. Uh, the fact that it's a no disqualification match makes it different. It doesn't mean we're gonna do some kind of a garbage FMW, uh, you know, uh, fluorescent light tube match or anything like that. No, it just means that this is a very serious, uh, uh, a serious uh, angle, a very serious situation, a very intense situation between myself and Kenny Omega. Uh, we didn't want to have to play by the rules. I requested an ODQ match to the New Japan officials. So did Kenny Omega, both unbeknownst to each other. So that's a big deal. Um, once again, this is a match that's going to stand out from anything you've seen in the last 20 years, and that's why the advance on the tickets for the Tokyo Dome are bigger than any other Tokyo Dome show for the last 20 years. Think about that. 20 years, the advance ticket sales for this show are bigger. That's amazing to me. Uh, and that's because Chris Jericho's on the show. So yes, there's a lot of foreigners coming. Yes, there's a lot of people in uh, all around the world, more specifically in North America, that are going to buy the uh, New Japan World Streaming Service specifically to watch this match. There's going to be a lot of people waking up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. to watch Alpha vs. Omega because they don't want to miss it. That's a very, that's a very uh, special thing. You don't see that happening very often in pro wrestling. You have to see this match the moment that it airs to the point where you're gonna drag yourself out of bed to watch it. It's exciting to me, it's a big responsibility. There's a lot of pressure, but it's also very gratifying and it's very smart. I'm making a lot of people in New Japan look like geniuses right now for booking Mr. Main Event on the Tokyo Dome. Alpha vs. Omega, if you watch one match this year and go to one show this year, or watch one streaming service on New Japan Global, this is the match to see. You don't want to miss it because it's never going to happen again. Alpha vs. Omega, January 4th at the Tokyo Dome.